Keaton Anderson, welcome to Tuscaloosa. I hope you're doing well. Yes, sir. I'm doing fine. I'm uh, very, very happy to be on the show and be able to talk to y'all. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And uh, you know, when you when you first hear that uh, number one signing class, that, that, that's sort of something special to take in uh, and being part of that. Yes, sir. It definitely is. Um, you know, it's something to be grateful for. But then again, uh, a number one signing class is not going to mean anything unless we go out there and prove it and win national championships. Because that's that's the that's the goal. That's the common goal for everybody: SEC championships and national championships. So, um, just being able to go out there and prove that we are the number one class on the field is going to be a huge thing. Keaton, you brought it up. Uh, I was not going to put the pressure on you, but you know the expectation in Tuscaloosa. You know the expectation with Nick Saban. It's about winning championships. Uh, h- how much of that was pressure, or was that a was that a uh, a positive for you, knowing that the expectations are so high in T-Town? No, I mean that's one of the things that I loved about Alabama. So uh, the fact that national championships is what it is expected. It's not. Um, oh man, you know we're happy to be here, but like we're there to win it. So that's something that I definitely took into consideration, and uh, just to be able to compete with all my teammates, and we all have that one common goal of being the best of the best, and uh, that's it. And we're not going to take second uh, for anything. So we're going to keep continuing to work hard. And I know uh, once I'm able to get there in May in the summertime, uh, we'll just continue to uh, bust our butts and just trying to get ready for this season and trying to win another one to bring back to Tuscaloosa. Keaton Anderson right now inside the game. You chose Alabama over Tennessee, LSU, Miami. You had a ton of offers from around the uh, the country as far as schools. What did Nick Saban do different compared to those other schools, or was there anything different? You know, Coach Saban, you know, he's just up front with me. He's honest with me. But the biggest thing um, that sold me on Alabama was just the university itself. Um, I knew if something was to go wrong with football or the coaching changes, which is very common in today's uh, football um, our college football. So I just knew if anything was to happen, I'd still be happy there with my academics, with the people that I'm surrounded by, my teammates and uh, friends that I have that are going to school there. So uh, I just felt very comfortable with where I was, and I knew the success would come. Um, and my hard work would definitely pay off with being with such great athletes around me. Have you talked about the plans for 2015? Uh, 215 pounds, six one guy uh, coming into Tuscaloosa. Are, are you coming with a mindset that I'm going to take a year, I'm going to redshirt, get stronger, bigger, faster? Uh, or are you coming here to the mindset how I can help this football team? Well, my mindset is always to get there and play. I think that everybody is as a freshman, but you know you can't just talk about it and then expect to go get on or go play for the number one team in the nation. So um, I, I'm busting my butt, you know, every day just trying to get ready to uh, help the team. And, you know, if it so happens that I get redshirted, then uh, great. I'll get another year of education, um, another year of free education to be exact, and I get to uh, get bigger, stronger, and faster. Uh, so, you know, that's not a negative thing about people getting redshirted. Some people may think it is, but, you know, it's not. But if I'm able to go there and contribute to them and help them on special teams or any situation that they want, start on defense, anything, then I'm definitely happy to do it and give it 110%. Have you thought about a major here in Tuscaloosa? What, what would you like I to have. major in? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm going to major in uh, business entrepreneurship. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. Yes, now, now, it's sort of. I, I don't hear that a lot, but uh, man, I can I can hear it in your voice. Uh, uh, you you got some plans for the future, and and not only playing football, but uh, I like that business mentality as well. Yes, sir. I mean, I, I'm I'm un, I understand just the fact that the percentage of me, uh, you know, getting to the NFL or something that would bring an income to me. Um, it's very slim, so you know I have to be set for after the, after football. And if anything anything was to go wrong, of course, I think everybody that goes plays college football, if they get the chance and the opportunity, of course they're going to take it and be very grateful for that. Uh, but then again, you have to prepare yourself for living a normal life just like the rest of the people. But um, you know you got to make the most out of it. And I think with what Coach Saban with what Coach Saban will teach me uh, will help me in my business world for sure. So um, you know, just trying to prepare myself for whatever happens and just try to be as successful and always alike. Keaton Anderson right now inside the game here in Tuscaloosa. Most of us that are listening to this program and, and talking with you right now that we will never have a chance to be recruited uh, by by these big schools. I, I want you to sort of help us walk through. You had a chance to do your official visit a couple of weeks ago here in Tuscaloosa. Walk us through what's that like. I mean, I mean, you don't have to go detail through detail, but talk about the highlights of an official <clears throat> visit and, and sort of that carpet that's rolled out for prospects like yourself. 
Man, on a, on a, an official visit is uh, its one of those times that you just want to go stay there forever because you feel like you're on top of the world. Everybody treats you amazing, you know, and everything is perfect for you. You know, the coach is always nice to you. And the coach is always nice to you. And uh, everything like that is great. But then, you know, the, the whole recruiting process in itself is, is fun. But then again, it can be stressful. It can be a stressful time to you and to your uh, family. And to me, you know, I had stressful times, but then I had great times. Um, but to, just to be honest with you, you know, I probably wouldn't go back and go all over again with it. I'm happy where I'm at, happy that it's over. I'm happy to be signed with the University of Alabama and uh, continue my football career there. But now, now is it true? I, I've often heard that uh, what Nick Saban serves breakfast is—is is that right? I mean, is that... <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, we we on Sunday or we had it on Sunday morning at his home. Uh, we were able to eat breakfast with him, and that was that was a memory that I will never forget. So, like, all right. So now, now I'm just I, I'm I'm digging for information here now, okay? Because I mean, I, I've covered Nick Saban since he got off the airplane in Tuscaloosa. He's never invited me over for breakfast, and I've never been a four star linebacker, uh, a five star guy. I, I've never been anything. But but what does he cook? I mean, is it Miss Terry cooking, or is it Nick Saban cooking, or uh, maybe it's Cater? What 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 was the what was on the menu? You know, uh, that's a good question. Who's got the food out? But. You know, it's just all there. It's all there when we get there. So, um, you know, from biscuits to gravy to grits to bacon to eggs to omelets to anything that you want, man, it is, it is a great time. And Coach Saban does it right for sure. So it's uh, it's fun to be able to sit down with him and have just a normal conversation with him on a Sunday morning. Um, you know, he, he just got back from church that day. And just be able to talk about little things like that that uh, – me and him kind of see eye to eye with and be able to sit with some of my future teammates and be able to talk to them and uh, enjoy the day. Yeah, well, and you know the next time you'll visit Nick Saban's house is when you arrive in Tuscaloosa. Uh, yep. He does something in the fall right before, I believe it's right before camp opens up, or it may be right during camp. Uh, he invites a lot of the players, especially some of the newcomers. Uh, he invites yep. them to his house. He puts them on the back of an inner tube, and, and he takes his little boat that he loves to uh, drive around Lake Tuscaloosa, and his goal is to get you off the inner tube. And, and he does it, uh, you know, you may be a guy that can be counted on on the football field but he's testing uh to see if you can hold on to an inner tube so i'm just i'm sort of preparing you for that yeah no actually i, I live on the lake actually so tubing is uh something that we do all the time in the summer so i'm ready for that challenge all right keaton uh give me the plans what what are you going through right now to prepare uh as far as conditioning uh do they have a sort of plan for you as far as the next few months before you arrive in t-town Yes, sir. Um, well, the the situation for me now is I get up at four uh, thirty and work out at five. I'm just weights, and then from uh, I have seventh and eighth period of my of my school day off because I have my electives completed. So I usually um, I usually do like a core workout during that time, and then at, at four o'clock um, in the afternoon I do my speed work um, with one of my coaches and two other of my teammates. One that will be playing ball at Stanford, and one that is an upcoming senior. Um, so we get my conditioning in at that time. So I have a busy day. I'm not taking any time off for sure. T- time out, time out, time out. I, I, I did a special show this morning, and I got up at 5.30, and I've been complaining all day long. You're telling me that you get up at 4.30 every single day? Every single day, <laughs> schoolwork and all, I'm still up at 4.30. Got to got to get it in. Now I know why I'm not a certain star uh, linebacker. Uh, four thirty, <laughs> four thirty, man. That's dedication, my friend, and that's what's going to separate you uh, from a lot of the other players uh, in college football around the country. Uh, Keaton, it's going to be nice to see you in Tuscaloosa and, and representing the University of Alabama. Uh, highly profile guy from Florence, Alabama. I've enjoyed this conversation. I hope we can visit again uh, before you yes, arrive sir. in Tuscaloosa. Yes, sir. I appreciate you having me on. It's been fun. I'm looking forward to getting to this as well.